stars are weighing in on their new shows after Rogers announced this fall's primetime lineup with a massive party. You guys have rolled out just an unbelievable schedule for the fans, not only sports fans, but entertainment fans as well. Yeah, we're really excited. It's a schedule with Scorpion, Black, as you know. We have just play music and party and just social. We have returning series, Cupo Girls, Mom, Modern Family. I give you the future. How many times you girls seen me fall off this ladder? Now? That's gonna happen less. We're thrilled. Also returning to city this fall, The Bachelor Canada. For me, this is really the best opportunity to find somebody that I can spend the rest of my life with. Oh, he's so handsome! Season two's leading man, Tim Warmels, gave me a few hints on what we can expect. Are we looking forward to any embarrassing moments? Because that's what I want to know. Oh, from Tim. From Apparently, Tim. there is some embarrassing stuff out there. What's it like to relive this knowing that this is going to be played out in September in front of Canada? I totally forgot about the cameras while this was all, you know, happening. And now to realize that, oh no, this is this is a TV show. It's a little bit weird to think about. Backstrom, tell me you didn't call this foul play for the free meal. This boy is full of heroin. Who's up for a hot breakfast? Mid-season, Rain Wilson will bring brilliant but self-destructive detective Backstrom to city. Are you still drinking? Absolutely not. When a patient says absolutely not, he's absolutely lying. Meanwhile, acclaimed director Guillermo del Toro is biting into FX Canada's The Strain. It's scary, it's dark, but it's also fascinating. You're going to get uh, the biology, the, the sociology, the, the mythology of vampirism. Guillermo is here to set the record straight. Vampires are not handsome. No? There is no sparkle faces in this. They are heinous viral creatures that should be feared. From Hollywood to hockey, it's time for Hockey Night in Canada's new home and new face. It's loose to the line. Martinez looks at the net. Score! LA Kings are going to the final. I just think it's strange and cool that I'm a part of this. George Trombolopoulos will be anchoring Hockey Night in Canada on Saturdays when the NHL games move to Rogers. I recognize that hockey itself is the star, not the show, not the host. Yeah, George brings just a whole new passion for the game. And now all we have to do is get George to wear a tie. Exactly. George wearing a tie is going to be a bigger challenge than having the Leafs win the Stanley Cup. <laughs> Tie aside, Strombo is already strategizing ways to expand one of his signature trends across Hockey Night in Canada. I, I think PK, I'll get his ears pierced. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try to get Don Cherry uh, to wear some he'll, Will you? he'll never do it. Maybe he won't be able to convince Don Cherry, but he might have a willing participant in PK. You take your pregame ritual seriously when it comes to fashion, right? Well, I do enjoy fashion, and uh, so it's fun. It's fun for me to do. PK special. PK's got a great career ahead of himself on the ice. And when he retires, he's got an unbelievable career after. Another hockey star is on the fast track to success, Connor McDavid, the biggest name in the CHL. 2015, you're projected to be one of the top draft picks. Did you ever believe that that was a possibility? And what's it like to even hear those words coming? It's, uh, it's still, you know, still trying to sink it in. And now you're at a party with P.K. Subban <laughs> yeah. taking selfies. How yeah. cool is that? That's, uh, that's really cool. So there's lots to look forward to this fall, but we want to know, will you be scaring yourself by watching The Strain? I don't know if I can watch it, to be honest with you. Just tweet us at NCity.